What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're a new viewer, hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on my latest content. With that out of the way, let's get started to this really early unboxing. So these shoes don't come out to April 22nd, I believe, of this of this month, but uh, that could change knowing uh, a lot of release dates with Adidas. So obviously this is an Adidas Boost box. Uh, but today we are doing an early review on the well, bam, Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Parley Oceans, um, and this is a U.S. size nine. Uh, when I fit, when I found out that this site had dropped these shoes early, there was no other size available but closest to mine besides a nine, so I went with a nine, um, and it, it it fits a little bit, um, but it's a little too tight also. So these are for grabs. Let me know if you're interested. Hit me up on at Naptown Sneaker Reseller on the IG, and let's get started right away. So these retail for 200 bucks. When you open up the box, it has this little labeling, NFC labeling, for exclusive content. Uh, tap NFC. I'm not sure what that is, but it's the barcode pretty much. You got your regular wrapping paper, and here is the first shoe, guys. The Adidas. Ultra Boost 4.0 times Parley Oceans or Parley, whatever you want to call them. Very nice shoe, super clean. I mean, this shoe is really nice. Uh, like I said, retail price was 200. Very very nice shoe. There's that, and then let's show you guys the other one. This is the place I purchased the shoes from. It's called Fresh Rags. That's the website I purchased it from. And then they actually throw another one in there. So like I said, these are up for grabs. Hit me up on that IG. Let's try to get a thumbnail real quick. Well, with that being said. Uh, so these are the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 uh, Parley collaboration. All of, all, of, all of, obviously a lot of you guys know what Parley is. Parley is pretty much this organization that, you know, is pretty much the purpose is to clean up the ocean by cleaning up a lot of plastic waste that, you know, is thrown in the ocean um, negligently by people. And so they, what they do is they recycle, I, th I believe it's 11 plastic bottles make each pair of shoe. So this pair accordingly was made from 11 plastic bottles. So they'll use these bottles and make that uh, plastic recyclable and you can pretty much use some of that plastic as thread for the prime knit and the heel cup and the you know the cage of the shoe so that's a little bit interesting I support that cause um, save some animals out in the ocean so obviously this is the new colorway that they have there is other colorways from 3.0 versions that we've seen but this by far is my favorite colorway one of the main reasons, let me talk about it here in a little bit. Let me show you guys. So obviously the prime knit is one of my favorite things on this shoe. Uh, the prime knit has a little bit of perforations there that you can see. Just your regular 4.0 prime knit, you see the perforations there. Better breathability in my opinion than the 3.0. The other thing though, this prime knit still isn't that elastic when compared to the 3.0, 2.0, and 1.0. So that's the only downside of the prime knit. But what I love is the colors. So we see a little bit of that ocean blue colorway there. It's knitted there in those vertical lines. And then we see a little bit of black and then even dark blue. A darker blue hint sprinkled every now and there. Out every now and then throughout that toe box. I wish I could have filmed this outside, but the weather still isn't up to par here in the Midwest, so can't do that yet. But um, yeah, that's one of my favorite things. So we see black, we see that ocean blue, we see that dark blue. Pretty much the same blue that we see on the laces here, that navy blue, is also sprinkled in that toe box and throughout the prime knit. So that's really nice. The laces look really nice with this. It's better than going with white laces in my opinion. We see this uh, tag here acting as a tongue and it says Adidas Branding Slash Parley. Very nice touch there on that glossy black. Also, this cage here is also according uh, to the you know to the websites that I was reading. This is made from recycled plastic, so that's pretty neat. And this is, I believe, what I see right now. It's black. It's a black uh, nylon cage. On this side, the same thing, right here. 
It's very light. That's a good thing. And then to my other favorite part of the shoe is the heel cup. The heel cup is really nice and it really catches your eye, especially the ocean blue color or sky blue or baby blue, whatever you want to call it. And then you see those that stitching to kind of resemble waves of the ocean in the same color. So that's really nice. And then you see the all white ultra boost there. Very nice. And then on the inside, guys, let me show you guys the insole. Here's the insole, guys. The same color as the heel cup with the modern day boost font there. Uh, and there's what the inside looks like, guys. The inside padding, so the inner liner, is like a different type of mesh inner liner. Um, I like that they changed it up. It's a lot more, I said it's a, there's a lot more cushion and more support to you know your ankles so that's really nice I like that a lot um, what else guys the outsole is all white this is the only thing I believe Adidas should be working on the outsoles guys you gotta stop making all white outsoles it gets boring and it gets harder to clean there are people out there that actually clean the outsole of their shoe so their shoe could stay looking brand new um, so that's the only thing I hate about it, like this outsole. It should have at least been either a navy blue like the laces or the same color as the cage or even gray or something, even blue, just as long as it's not white and, you know, hard to clean. So that's my only downfall of this shoe. But other than that, I would give this shoe a 9 out of 10 because I really like the purpose of the shoe and what it stands for and especially the colorway guys this is a definite um you know on vacation type colorway or spring break type of colorway very very nice guys here's the other one here's what the inside of the other one is it has the adidas branding and parley branding there um and that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think these are for grabs like i said um i'll give you a good deal on these uh, hit me up on that Naptown Sneaker Reseller IG, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.